All right, guys, next question here is from Debbie. And Debbie says, I've heard for new writers that the trend is to query primarily to production companies instead of reps, and that that can arguably be more fruitful. What, what do you say? I, 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 I mean, query letters for me are, are sort of hit and miss a lot. I mean, I remember when I was working, again, when I was in management, we had a query letter hall of shame um, <laughs> where we just had query letters that were, were, that were <laughs> garbage. And I'm sorry, you know, and then you're just like, what guys who read this for you? Um, Cause it's just not gonna get the job done. Um, so, you know, query letters are tough because um, ultimately that's, that's the really the first first line of defense for any production company, whatever. Um, I think, again, if you're putting your query letter together and you've got something interesting in terms of additional attachments or whatever it is, put that in there. That sort of opens a door. Um, the blind query letter, I think, quite, quite honestly for me, I think there's other ways to get around that front gate now that are not query letters. You know, I mean, I, we used to have to literally, I don't remember this, like open up yeah. envelopes and you unfold and they've sent this letter, postmarked and everything. There's different, I mean, again, digital age makes it so much easier to connect people more directly in a way that's not handled by the person opening the mail. Yeah, and I, I would add to that. I know, and I know you're, I think you're also asking whether it's better to go after producers and or reps, but I'll, I'll add to the query letter thing. I did the query letter thing. I had spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm almost embarrassed to say it. Maybe one day I'll publish them. I had spreadsheets that would make your head spin. Mm -hmm. Did research like you wouldn't believe. I was like, I am a genius. I am going to email everybody How in many town. Responses did you get? And I got like two responses. Yeah. And there were people yeah. that had never produced a damn thing yeah. in their lives. And I got about 500 other people that said, How the hell did you get my email? And you know, don't mail email me again. Mm -hmm. And it was a it was time. It mm -hmm. was all my fucking time, and that was what really killed me was that I, I spent months on this. Mm -hmm. This is when I was starting out. You know, you learn these things along the way. Um, and to me, to this day, I mean, it's true. I said it earlier. It's all about how do I shorten my path mm -hmm. to success? How do I get to people more quickly? How do, I, how do I get the response? How do I get the champion? Right. How do I – how, how, how? How do I create this – tribe and this group of people mm -hmm. that you know are going to go run through a wall for me and that know that i'm going to run through a wall for them right you can't lose that aspect of it as far as reps versus producers and who you should go after or who you should be targeting it really is a kind of a personal choice mm -hmm. in a lot of ways yeah. my you know things are changing rapidly right now i don't know if you guys and this isn't i'm going to freaking i'm going to answer 16 things at once here again I mean, this is another thing that, that troubles me sometimes when it comes to writers, mm -hmm. and, and it, it signals whether you're serious or not. I will see a thread on stage 32 about people arguing about flashbacks and voice right. lines, and it'll be 200 comments long. I'll go in and share an article about the WGA right. and what's going on with the agencies right now, which affects everybody, everybody that is on this mm -hmm. webinar right now, if you're planning on being repped mm -hmm. or working in this business, and like two people will go, right. Thanks for sharing, and nobody will ask questions. Right. That signals signals to me that you're not understanding what's going on it's, in the business yeah, absolutely. and how important it is. Okay. I'll tell you something that's going on as far as representation is mm -hmm. concerned right now. In the management game, I mean, obviously you should do some research when you get off this webinar. Type in WGA dispute agencies, and you'll or just go to deadlines yeah. they're printing an article every right. hour on it okay right now right so this is coming to a head in the next it month is. and it's gonna if it goes the way i think it's it, gonna go yeah. it is going to radically it's be change yeah. the business and mm -hmm. be catastrophic for the agency yeah. it might be great for writers we'll see but it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a catastrophic change that's it's gonna story, be a, yeah. yeah it's gonna be a huge change but here's another little c change that's happened that a lot of people aren't talking about managers used to the, the job of a manager mm -hmm. was to manage a writer's career. Right. Mm -hmm. Agents cannot produce. Correct. Right. Okay. Yeah. It is against the law. Agents cannot produce. Okay. Managers can produce. Mm -hmm. So that means that managers can take the 10% from you and they can take producing fees. And what's happening more and more often is that managers are doing this now. Mm -hmm. They, they, you know, they get interested You've written five great scripts, ten great scripts. They latch on to one that they love, and they're like, we're going to go do this. They're more interested in managing a project 
than they are right. the right. That becomes their entire career at that point. Yeah. Well, and it, and they get the double down. They get double down, right? Now, this is a problem to me, mm -hmm. and it's happening more and more. Now, there are plenty of managers out there that do not do this. There are plenty of managers out there that are like, all I give a crap about is my 10%. Managing the writer's careers because if I do it right, I'm going to be collecting 10%, 10%, 10% for a long time. My writers are going to be happy. They're going to stay with me for a long time. I'm looking for longevity. I'm mm -hmm. not looking for the one thing. Okay. Personally, I think that's very smart um, because any project could fall apart at any time. True. You know, I mean, you could you could hit your wagon to one project and then the whole thing could get to the you know two yards mm -hmm. from the finish line and then boom, boom, it's gone and now you're back to square one. Um, what I'm seeing a lot of writers do now is say, I'm going to control as much as I can control. And I'm mm -hmm. a big believer in this. So instead of going the management route, I'm going to pitch to, I'm going to get in front of mm -hmm. managers. I mean, I'm sorry, producers. Producer. I'm, going to, I'm going to try, or they're going two avenues. They're going at the management, mm -hmm. which is also fine. I actually, look, I just, I just told you guys, I'm looking for new representation. I'm out, I've taken meetings on managers and representation for the last month and a half. But I've also taken as many, if not more meetings, of producers yeah. who have read my work and said, you know, this is interesting. Let's right. see if we can put this thing together. So don't limit yourself. Cast the wide net, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, don't choose one or the other. It, it's all about getting read and ultimately getting bought, option, produced, mm -hmm. you know, et cetera, et cetera. And by the way, if you're a writer that wants to be a filmmaker or a writer that wants to be a producer, all the more reason you should be trying to control as sure. much as you can control. You don't want to give away, right? So a lot of different, you know, aspects of this thing. And please know what's going on in the business. Understand what's happening in the business. Exactly it's, right. it's your yeah. job. There, there are two things that you don't understand that are your job beyond writing. Networking and freaking knowing what's going on yeah. in the business, reading the trades every day. Yeah. It is your job as a writer. Your job. What cracks me up is people that will follow sports teams or trades or athletes or who's moving where they don't know what executives what wear. They don't know what they wear. The they, and that's the stuff that matters. You know, that's the stuff that matters. Treat it like sure. a business. Man. Absolutely. Treat it like a business. Absolutely.